Welcome back travelers it is Slider Havoc here and we are back on Project Ozone 2 Kappa Mode uh, And let me tell you how much of a dilemma I was in today Because I've been very much, you know, as you guys know, trying to, as you can see what I've been looking at um, I've been trying to pretty much, you know, very much go steadily in pace with everything And uh, there's a couple things left I want to do here right and uh, alpha but some of these things like you know the knapsack is just a little thing I need to do um, this furnace we could we are, you know what we could do that furnace right now um, but before we get going anyways I've been looking and I'm like you know I would love flight and yeah I know I'm only you know what episode 10 or whatever but if you look oh it reset all oh, that stinks so my server crashed and we had to back up and apparently on the backup it reset our days. I literally was at day 999, right? I was literally, we just reset a minute ago. Um, I was at day one, 999, right? So I've been playing for a while. I'm just only on episode 10 recording wise, right? But I was like, you know what? I want flight. I want flight so bad. So I was looking up, you know, how, what the, the, the easiest way to uh, get flight was. And I came up with a couple different things. You've got this ring of flight, if I can spell correctly, right here, which is actually pretty cheap to make. Um, it's a dark solarium thrusters, which is all stuff we can make. It's octetic capacitors, which we've got like 28 of in our inventory. These vibrant thrusters, which is just all, you know, uh, ender IO stuff that we can make really easy with the, the vibrant ingots, which I'm making some right now. Some of the ender energy conduit. Uh, redstone, like all this stuff is super simple to make, right? Then, you know, a little bit harder going to get the nether star, but that's just a matter of taking on the wither. And then, then I would need these cooling units and these glowstone elevation units, right? But that's where I'm going to need a fluid transposer. The problem with that is the fluid transposer is down here in Delta, right? Which I haven't really even dipped into because I've done some of the stuff because of the ender IO stuff. But I haven't made my way over to this branch of the 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 tree or whatever. And I really want to stick true to what we we're talking about and kind of go in order. So in the meantime, I, I've done a couple things, right? I made a whole bunch more of these crystals. And I also learned a valuable lesson. Because the crystals are actually one of the achievements to get extra crystals down here. Gamma. Gamma. Right over here, extra crystals, right? And you need 32 of them. But apparently, if you craft and shift click out of here, you don't get credit for it. See, I got a whole bunch of capacitors now. Whole bunch. Uh, you don't get credit for it here. And so I made a whole bunch of these to speed up the QED, and it turned out I didn't even get credit for it. And I wasn't even trying to. I just I noticed that mission a minute ago, but I'd already made all these, so I was surprised I didn't get it, but... Yeah, so don't shift click out of the crafting grid on the inventory panel or you won't get credit for it, okay? So, what we're going to be doing today is actually getting headed in the direction of Batania, right? Because Batania is what gets us to a lot of our seeds so we can start getting the magical crops going. And so I spent some time getting all of the flowers that we needed and getting all the flowers up to, well, the ones I need up to 10, 10, 10. Right, because we were, I wanted to get to the Batania stuff. So we've got the mythical white floral seeds now. And I've got a whole bunch of those uh, petals while they were upgrading. Right. And then I noticed that there was redstone seeds, which is really useful because redstone's a material I keep running out of quite often. So this redstone plant, which is these ones, it's actually got a cool name. It's uh, red stodded, red stodendron seeds. Right. But basically... Uh, it's the normal seed and over here there's the lapis ones, but they're called lapender seeds. And as you can see, you have to have some of the ores under them to get them to grow. But now I've basically just got them connected. And as you can see, I've got 21 stacks of lapis and 21 stacks of redstone because, well, they're making them at the same rate. So that's pretty awesome. We've got all that now. And so I'm just mass producing uh, redstone and uh, lapis right now, which is really, really cool. But we want to get going on Batania because there's a lot of cool stuff that we're going to need for Batania when it comes to making the um, a lot of the magical crop stuff. So one second. Sorry, I had to drink. OK, so the first thing I know we need to make ourselves is a petal apothecary. Um, 
Oh, you know what? Link. Yeah, you are. Pedal. What is that? Display paddle? Pedestal? I don't know what that is. But the pedal apothecary, where are you at? Why am I not seeing? Oh, because it's petal? There it is. Pedal apothecary, right? Remember, Craig, easy, easy, easy. Some cobblestone, two cobblestone slabs, and I'll, we can do that. So we are going to get going on this today. Um, I really, really wanted to get going on those rings of flight, but I think I'm going to save that for another time just because I mean, we're not in that big of a hurry. There's so much more stuff that we're going to, we need to get done. And so I'm just going to kind of bypass on that, uh, for the moment. So there is our pedal apothecary. And I think we're going to go ahead and do our Batania stuff over here. So I'm going to start off in this corner. Now I need... I need to make myself some more of these water blocks. Let me see if I can uh, make some more of these infinite water blocks real quick. I have two, one's in the nether and then one's here, but we're gonna need more, so why not make them? Um, infinite water, where are you at? There you are. All right, there we go. So it's really simple. It's just one of these machine frames, four buckets and four pieces of glass, and that's those guys right there, so we can do that. So, let us make, um, well, let's bring that back up. Uh, where were you at? There you go. So you, you, can I make you right now? Uh, no, don't quite have enough. I, uh, you, there we go. And let's go ahead and do the recipe for that. There we go. One, two, perfect. And then we can make you. Why didn't you do that? Oh, get in there. Why didn't you do that? What are we doing here? You like that. There we go. Hey, come here. So then there's that. And now I know we can make you really easy like. Come on. There you go. There's the machine frame. And I think. Yeah, I don't have any of those. I got to make these, which is like that. Come on. Where's my hammer? Maybe it won't identify it because it has a durability. Oh, maybe I don't have a hammer at the moment. That's interesting. I was pretty sure I had one. Um, where's the hammer at? I don't see it. I, I'm not seeing the hammer. All right, well, let me just look up a bucket. Oh my gosh, I can't type. There we go. Bucket plate hammer I know I've got all the materials for it so cool there we go and we'll clear that out and then now I'll make this so I need one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve four buckets cool and now we'll do that I don't know why this isn't auto populated there we go there we are four buckets one two three four okay we're getting there we are getting there I have all the materials now, which is really nice. It's just a matter of getting it all put together. There we go. So we're going to put this bad boy. Hey, where are my other buckets at? Where did my... Did I drop them all in there? That's annoying. Okay, cool. So petal apothecary. And I'm going to need to grab some seeds real quick. Let me get some seeds. Um, vanilla seeds. There we go. I got like 20 of them. Good. So we're gonna make a, pure, a couple white daisies real quick. So we are gonna place you, I'm gonna put you right there for right now, that works. All right, and then, boop, like that, get you out of here, and fill you, right? And it's one, two, three, four, and some seeds. Yes, and we've got our first pure daisy. Yay, uh, with an empty hand. Shift right click with an empty hand, I did. I did. Why aren't you doing it? Okay. It did it without the shift. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's make a couple of these guys. Uh, the reason I want a couple of them is because I also want to make um, some snow so we can make our thermal generators just that much more effective. Instead of using water, we can use that. So we're going to replace a couple of these with dirt real quick so maybe right here 
right there and right there. Now it's still going to be an edge. That'll be perfect. Although I don't like it. Yeah, I'm uh, because that's going to bother me, I'm going to move this block real quick. And we'll move our torches. I know it's it's so petty, but I really want stuff to look good. Like, at least somewhat good, right? All right, cool. Drop down there. I have been using my Dirt Chest 9000 religiously. Believe it or not, I constantly fill this thing back up with dirt when I need it. And I only needed three. There we go. And I do actually use it on a somewhat regular basis. All right, cool. So our pure daisies, get back here. I'm gonna go there, there, and there. And we're gonna have to move this torch. Let me F7 this area real quick just to see where I need some torches at. Okay, that's, everything else is good. Okay, cool, so we're good to go there. All right, so we're gonna go grab some stone, some wood, and some water, actually. So, stone, um, regular stone, there we go. Just grab a little bit to start, and some wood. Um, do I have, uh, yes, there we go. There's some oak wood right there. And, uh, oh, well, water's gonna be simple. Let me just grab some cobble for the moment so we can kind of create like a little area for the water to go. Um, so I'm thinking the water needs to go like that. No, you know what? It's gonna be this corner block. That's what's gonna be. So I need to put these up like this. Right, is that right? Yeah, so there, there, and there, and corner blocks are there, 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 and there. Perfect. And I believe, I'm a, I don't, I remember seeing this somewhere. I don't know 100% if this is gonna work or not, but I believe this will work. You should see particle effects go into the water, which tells us that it is turning it into snow. Aha, I see particle effects. Cool. There's the magical particle effects. And so then we can get some snow blocks. And we can use snow for a couple different things. But um, for right now, let's go you, 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 you. So we can make some living stone and the wood. There we go. And that way we can make some living wood and make our first wand. And we are just so heading in the right direction now. Yes. All right, there we go. And there's one other thing I need to do. I need some overgrowth seeds because that makes these just work faster. And we want these to work as fast as possible. So let's grab some overgrowth seeds. I know I have some. Yes. One, two, one, two, three. There we go. I don't know if it has to be on grass or if it will, if they'll plant on the dirt. We're about to find out though. Um, do you work there? No, maybe you have to be grass. Well, let's grab some grass seeds then, and then try the overgrowth. So let's get some grass. All right, one, two, three. There we go. And, oh, they did turn to snow, awesome. And there goes the living rock right there, awesome. So good things are happening now. All right, so, oh, and there those go. Okay, so there's grass, there's grass, and there's grass, and then overgrowth. There we go, that's what I wanna see. So these will work a whole lot faster now, which is awesome, which is exactly what we want. And get you, hey, come on, get him a pick. There we go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That is like the third or fourth time I've done it because my pick is so fast, it goes through. Oh, that is so, so annoying. Die, okay. Fortunately, it's this just a center block, and so it was just all the red stone or whatever. But oh, that is so annoying. I'm gonna fix this up real quick, and then we will be right back. All right, guys. So after a little bit of patchwork, we got it all up. But now we've got some snow, which is oh, I need to use a shovel. Darn it! What am I thinking? I'm not using my brain right now. Um, there's my shovel. There we go. So yeah. We, uh, we've got some snow and we've got some of our living brick or whatever it's called and uh, our living stone 
as well as the living wood and we can get a couple things made up real quick so let me go ahead and make some snow blocks there we go and we'll see how much of a difference this really makes I don't know I don't know how much of a difference it's gonna make but we'll see um this capacitor is probably full now isn't it yeah kind of need to discharge you somehow anyways we'll just pop it in here I mean it, it's it can do nothing but be better so um yeah, it's, it's not outputting, obviously. Cold source, hot source. Yeah. That's definitely a hot source. That's definitely a cold source. Oh, maybe it's just not recognizing because it's, I don't know. I don't know. But let me pick you up because I moved all this stuff. Once we got the inventory panel, I made wall-o drawers. And I relocated everything over here using some packing tape, which is really, really cool. I didn't know about that. And um, pull it all my rock crushers out now. So it's really efficient system. Um, basically, they all, like you can see, tons of colors. It's all co totally color coded. So cobble goes into all the bottom ones. And then this one sends up to here for sand. This one sends up here for dust. And then it, um, it, uh, strain or sieves it and then it all pushes into this chest then this chest recognizes the items that can be crushed or not using this item filter well item filter right there saying okay pull all these items out of the chest and it sends them into the inventory and then anything that can be uh compacted goes over here into the compactor and i need to sort which ones go where because things are gonna start getting bag logged uh pretty soon but uh, yeah, so they all go in here. Once they've been compacted, they go back in the system. So it's pretty efficient and it's, I mean, all of these are maintaining power. So these two little generators are still doing their job, which is really, really cool. But anyways, let's get back to the Batania. Yeah, cause I got sidetracked there, didn't I? Yeah, let me do a little munchy munch here. All right, so I know we got the achievement right now for our pure daisy. Oh, but I didn't claim these. So I made the redstone plants, right? So we'll claim that. And I made the lapis one, so we'll claim that. And we made the white one, so we'll claim that. There we go. And now the white one's open. Oh, well. Okay, so I need 16 living wood and 16 living rock. That's easy. Let's get going more on that. Hey, get out of here. All right, so stone and wood. There we go. And... I don't know if I'm going to keep using that third daisy over there. I literally only wanted the daisy just for a quick minute, uh, just to uh, get that snow, which we got. And so, I don't know. Maybe we'll use it. Maybe we won't. Maybe there's other stuff. I'm sure there's other stuff in this pack that we can <clears throat> use it for, but I don't know of it right now. So, for the moment, I'm just going to go ahead and just let it chill. Let it do its thing right there. And yes, that is so much quicker. When I tilde these, I need to back up. There we go. There you go, wood's getting done. And that should be it for both of them. Right? Right? How many do I have? Do I f oh, I have 14 of each. Jeez. Okay. So let's get eight more of you. I guess the 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 having the one over there for the snow actually hindered how many I could do because it should have been just two wraps and it should have been good. So, and might as well just put these last few down real quick and get those done. Cool. So then we're gonna get that, and then that means we'll be able to get our mana pool. Oh, we need to make a wand of the forest. Well, let me get the wood first, and then we can make our wand of a forest. That'll be awesome. There we go. Come on, do your thing. There we go. You should start turning, yeah. And then you should be a second later. Just waiting for this wood to turn so I can get it all at the same time. Ah, whatever. Ah, there we go. There we go. So now we've got all of our materials that we need for those two achievements. And we can really get rock and rolling on Batania. So let us go over here and make ourselves... I believe it's two of these makes a twig. Yes, and I'm gonna need three of these, right? Yes. So one, two, three, and you guys go like that, and then I'm just gonna use the white petals for right now, because that's what I have on me, and bingo, bingo, that should be achievement done. 
Yes. Magical Batania is complete. All right. So we get three Nightshades, three Dayblooms, and a Chance Cube, and a Loot Chest. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Right? Because that's going to lead us to getting going. Oh, I'm so excited right now. I love progression. I love when things work the way it's supposed to. All right. So we're going to go ahead and make ourselves our first Mana Pool. Right? And we'll probably just place it, I don't know, say like right here. Right? And then we're going to want to make our first Mana Spreader, which is this guy right here. And that is that. Okay. Yeah, I actually forgot the recipe, so I had to look. <laughs> um, there we go. So you like that and like that. Cool. So we got our Mana Spreader. And I need to grab a couple more pieces of dirt because we're going to need dirt for the day blooms and nightshades. Right? All right. So let us just put our mana spreader. I like to always have it one up and one away. I don't know why, but that's just kind of my thing. Right? And then we take our wand like this. You're in bind mode. So you bind to there. Bind to there. What are you doing? Point to there. There we go. Cool. And now we can put our day blooms and nightshades like right here. I think I got three of each, but I'm just putting down a whole bunch right now. Um, ah, let me grab three, three more pieces of dirt just so it's it's all even right here. One, two, three. There we go. And now we can put the day blooms and nightshades down and they will start producing some mana for us. Where are my day blooms and nightshades? Didn't I just claim that one? Uh, did I forget to hit claim? Huh. Yeah, that helps. Okay. So you, you, you like that. You, you, you like that. And these don't produce a lot, but the nice thing is we're about to produce a ton because... Um, actually, I think I moved some of them over here. We have the, uh, these guys right here, the black Lotus, or it might be the blacker Lotus. I'm not sure which one it is, but if you have any mana in a mana pool, which we're about to, right? We're about to, no, you're supposed to be on the other way. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there it goes. Burst. Okay, cool. And then you throw those in there. It gives you mana, right? That's awesome. And these guys give a ton of mana. Look at that full mana pull in a couple of seconds. Oh, look at that. Literally a full mana pull. Completely full mana pull. That's awesome. And we can get a whole bunch more. I don't know. Oh, wow. My cows have been going crazy. I'm like not even looking over there. Oh my goodness. Look at all the cows. Let me take my magnet off because this is going to annoy me if that stuff comes towards me. Um... Any good cows, though? Any good cows? I see a lot of vanilla cows. We have creosote oil. Nice. Regular cow, sheep. You guys are going to go deceased. Sorry. I only keep who I need. Uh, Resident Ender. That's awesome. Cow, you're going to die. Tesseract time, right? Regular cow. Regular sheep. This is ethanol. Ooh. Heavy water again. You know what? I've already got a couple of you. I don't need you. And a regular cow. And tectonic petrothium. Interest. I've never seen that before. Oh, no. I left the gate open. Hey, you guys get back in there. You guys, you're, you're well, you're going to become deceased. You, sir, get back in the farm. Get back over there. Get in there. I mean, I don't really mind too much if you guys wander around. You're not like mobs that can hurt me or anything like that. So, but if I can keep you in the farm, I will. Hey, get in there. There we go. Stay on that side. And there we go. So cool. We've got more cows, bro. I hadn't even seen them. I didn't even know all these guys were over here. But that's awesome. I don't know what the tectonic petrothium is, but I'm sure we might need it later. So anyway, so cool. So we've got a full mana pool, which is absolutely awesome. And the whole point of what I was saying was I have, I don't know if I've still got, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How many we got here? 129 of them. Okay. So we've got a ton of those. And, oh, by the way, I'll explain this in just a second. You get a whole bunch of them from these legendary loot bags. And I was going to set something up to start auto-filtering, but I haven't gotten to that point quite yet. But that's coming. 
Now, I left this untorched because I want, like, you know, random spawns, like the random witch or random zombie to come out here. So if I need to catch them in a soul vial, they're available for me. And I had to create a new portal, so my portal will actually take me, um, like, into the nether because this portal now takes me up on the roof. And I don't want to go on the roof every single time. I want to be able to get in the nether. So I created another nether portal over there. I left it untorched so mobs will spawn. And yeah, good things will happen now. All right, right. Okay, cool. So now that we did that, we've got mana manipulation, mana spreader, mana pool. I've, I already I already made those. Well, huh. Let's make them again, apparently. Uh, did I shift click out of here? Is that what I did? I don't think I did, but whatever. All right, cool. So there's part of that achievement and there's the other part. Cool. So bingo, bango, that achievement's done. Come on, give me a little ding ding. Give me my little ding ding. There we go. Detect submit, good. All right, cool. Loot chest, done. Oh, no, not done. Claim, we wanna claim. All right, so loot chest, why can't I claim? Did it? What's going on here? Loot chest. Why can't I claim this? That's a, oh, there's more. Oh, a mana portal, a mana diamond. Ha ha ha. Well, we can do that. We can do that really easily. Oh, I love moving on with the game. Okay, let me get rid of some of this stuff. I don't need you. I don't need you. You uh, definitely don't need you or you. The snow, I don't need. Wool, I don't need. Don't need you right now. Just kind of cleaning house here. Uh, color cobblestone, I may need, I don't know. I don't need that right now. Uh, beef, I don't need the blocker lotus anymore. All right, cool, there we go. So let's grab one ender pearl and let's grab one diamond. And there we go. All right, cool. So now we can go make these up real quick like, bink and bink. And there we go, mana manipulation done. We are rocking and rolling here. There we go. Ooh, and we get a mana distributor out of it, cool. All right, cool. So the next thing we wanna start working towards is either Menincio Seeds or a Runic Altar. How do we do Menincio Seeds? I bet you it's gonna be crazy. I bet you it's not gonna just be wrap a seed with Menincio. Menincio. Menincio Seeds are made by, oh, just throwing seeds in the, I can do that. Let's just grab like half a stack real quick. Is it just one I need? Was it just one? Yep, just one. All right, so we're gonna make up a couple Menincio seeds. Actually, I don't know how many we're gonna need eventually, so we'll just throw one. We're just getting achievements here. That's what we're doing. There we go. Another quest complete. And we will claim you. All right, cool. Got you. Now, what about this runic altar? Can I not do it with a crazy recipe? Let's see. Runic altar. And this is where the fun stuff happens. Oh, that's simple. Simple, simple, normal recipe. All right. And we just happen to make the two items that we need. So let's put you there. And you like that. And there we go. Oh, we are hopping and popping. All right, so I'm gonna put the runic altar over on this. Well, no, I should probably put it closer to my mana, huh? Yeah, we'll put it over, over here because then we can actually use that mana distributor like so. And I believe that'll actually give this mana. I believe that will work. I don't have to do it with a spreader that way. So that's cool. Um, let's go ahead and claim. There we go. And let's empty our inventory again. You know what? It's time. It's time for me to make a pouch. Um, let me, what's the recipe for an ender pouch? Do I have enough to make an ender pouch? <sighs> yes, let's see if I do. I should have all of that. How do, oh, because the blaze is all broken. Okay. Because I got them all in these blocks like this. Okay, that's cool. We can break those back up real quick and put you in all four corners, right? And now we've got the ender pouch. That's awesome. Now we can start storing some stuff, right? So anything that we might, you know, like I don't necessarily, well, I wanna keep those on me. So 
we'll we'll figure out exactly what I want to throw in this thing. But um, let's clean house. I don't need the wand anymore. My bucket's good. Minus is good. I don't need the half life at the moment. Although I'm trying to see. I only have the one. What about quarter? I have two. Okay. Oh, that's enough to make a heart. Um, yeah, I won't worry about that at the moment. So, hmm. What else can we get done with the Batania stuff? A um, hundred years late or hydrangeas. Now, eventually I'm going to want to go through these, but because I have all those blacker lotuses, I'm not really worried so much about the mana producing flowers. What is this one? Oh, so we're going to need all the runes. One water, earth, fire, and air. Well, let's check the recipe on those. I might be able to do those. Um, rune. There we go. Uh, water, fire, earth, and air. Cool. It's the first four. Um, mana steel we can do now. Mana powder we can do. Bone meal, that, and I can make a fishing rod. Cool. We can make that. Uh, nether wart, gunpowder, nether brick we've got. Um... Stone, coal, and mushroom we've got. Oh, I don't know about the mushroom. And string. Oh, yeah, yeah. We can do all this. And carpet. Yeah, we can do this. Let's make up a couple of these. Okay, so first I need to make a fishing rod. Because, well, why would I have one? Fishing. Um. Ha, <laughs> ha, Um. Apparently, there's no recipe for vanilla. Interesting. Hold on. Rune. There we go. Water. How do I make you? I can make you. Um, am I short on sticks again? Let's make up some planks. Dink, dink. Dink. There we go. All right. Get in the system. There we go. Why won't you do that? Why won't you do that? It's funny that I just realized I had to look up the recipe for a fishing rod because I haven't made one in so long. Not sting. String. There we go. One, two. There we go. I don't know why I couldn't make that. All right. So fishing rod. Let's, you know what? Let's open up these loot crate, uh, chests real quick and get him out of the way. Another I'm breaking. Okay. A quarter heart. Cool. More thick eyebrows. Ooh, I like the electric team when I get the electric team and the alloy ones. And a growth amulet. Not a lot of useful stuff, except I like when we get the alloys, but they're not super useful. Um, the quarter heart can go away. All right, cool. So back to this. So we needed, <coughs> let me bring up the runes again. Rune, okay, rune of water. We need the fishing rod, some sugar cane, and bone meal. I, ooh, please don't tell me I used all my sugar cane. I used up a whole bunch of sugar earlier. I did. Gosh darn it. Okay, let's go plant some real quick. Oh no, I need sand. Eh, I don't know if I have any sand. Please tell me I have sand. I have no sand. I need to set up a crusher system to get a backlog of sand because I'm going to need it for the silicon as well. I keep forgetting that. No, gravel's in there. Ah, ha, ha, just enough. I don't need a lot. I just need a little. All right, so we can go set this up in the farming station real quick. I'm going to grab my water bucket to make this really fast. We only need one, so it should be really, really fast. But you never know if things are going to pan out quite the way you want them to. Um, You know what? I don't even need to put them over here. I can just do this. Here we go. Uh, you go there, you go there, uh, sugarcane seeds, you should go really fast. Oh, I need sticks. Can I have some sticks, please? One, two, two, there we go. All right, so stick, stick, seed, seed. Wow, well, see, it's so fast. Like, it, it's, it's ridiculously fast. It's not even an issue, and I'm going to get eight right now. Boop, boop. All right, cool. I'm going to pick you back up. There we go. Dunzo. Hey. Oh, my magnet's on, not on. That's why. All right. Sometimes I want the magnet. Sometimes I don't. I can't ever make up my mind. 
All right, so we'll put those sticks back. We've got the sugar cane. And what was the other thing? It was um, it was a fishing rod. I keep getting off of this. <laughs> Riddick. Uh, fishing rod. That and bone meal. Oh, I got plenty, plenty of bone meal. There we go. Yeah, there's a couple, what, the 807 of these uh, three by three areas. It's just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, let's go and put the seeds back right now. All right, cool. So we got those. I need to grab some steel. I believe it's steel in this pack. Uh, mana steel is. Yeah, it's steel ingots. I thought so. Uh, not dark steel, not electrical steel, regular steel. There we go. One, two, three, four for all of these. And then I'm going to need some like, I don't know, redstone or glowstone or something. Uh, one, two, three, four for the mana powder. All right. So we've got everything we need. All right. This is actually what I'm going to use the pouch for to organize this stuff. So bone meal, fishing rod and sugar cane, right? With what is going to be uh, mana powder and what is going to be mana steel. All right, cool. Next we need, let me just throw all this stuff in here. I uh, don't need the extra. If I do need it, I'll come get it. I don't need you. Um, don't need the seeds right now. Don't need the living rock. Okay, cool. Don't even need the living wood. All right, we're good. So <laughs> let's bring up our runes again. Rune, rune of fire is nether wart gunpowder and nether brick. All right, I think we should have all that, I believe. Um, nether, I got the brick. I've got the wart and I've got gunpowder. Yes, I got plenty of that. Okay, cool. All right, so let's put you up in there. So you, you, and you, cool. And not nether, runic. Hey, runic, there we go. And now for the earth, I needed a mushroom, a block of coal and stone. I don't know if I have any mushrooms. I hope I do. I don't, how do I get these mushrooms? Um, brown mushroom spore on crop. I haven't, how do we get that? Uh, potato seed and nether wart on mycelium. Ooh. Ooh. Um, I don't have any nature essence, so I need next recipe. I don't have a furniture, sludge builder I can't do. Oh, I'm going to have to get some nature essence, which is nature seeds. Oh, that's, that's a bit down the way. So, so how do I, how, ooh, mycelium. It's dirt with those and a mushroom. I've got the mushroom, but I don't have the nature essence. You know what? Time to head to the nether. I know there's a whole bunch on the roof. So I'm going to run over the nether and go get those real quick. But, and you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put everything together. Once everything's together, we'll go make up these runes. And yeah, so we'll be right back. Okay, so that was quick, fast, and easy. We got everything we needed. Um, I got a couple extras while I was in the nether. So I've got a whole bunch of red and white as well as the brown mushrooms. And now I just need to pull all of you out and all of you. And then just throw you like that. And like that. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now I'm hoping this works. If not, we can always connect a spreader. I haven't done this in a while. All right. Now we've got everything we need. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, cool. So while standing in front of the altar... I think we can do it from standing on top, right? Okay. I think you can throw on as well as place. So you, 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 and you. There we go. Oh, that's really fast. Okay, do I gotta tap it with my wand or something? I forget how this works. I haven't done this in a while. So throw you on there. And then turn the magnet off. <laughs> All right, so put you on there and then tap. Why does it say it's not good? What am, what am I missing here? That's the recipe, right? Um, rune of water. That, that, that with those two. Do I need two pieces of stone? 
Is that what it is? Two pieces of stone? Why? Okay, maybe it's the... Okay, maybe it's the mana issue. Maybe that's what it is. So... Let's do this real quick. I thought this would work, but I knew there was a chance it wouldn't. So I don't really care about those day blooms and stuff like that. So we're going to put you right here, right? And we're going to bind you to that guy. There we go. And then we're going to bind you to that guy. You're going to be donating. Yes. You to there. Okay, there it is. Yeah, I see the progress bar going. Okay, cool. And then it's just throw this guy on in it. Right? Is that how it works? Or do I have to tap? Okay, cool. That works. Cool, cool, cool. We've got this. All right, so back up on here. And it's one of you, one of you, 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 and you. Right? And then you on top like that. And the wand once it's done. Oh, this is so awesome. We are making progress. And I really do enjoy Batania. I mean, it's not the most OP mod in the world, but it's a really cool mod. I really, really, truly enjoy it. So you, you, stone, coal, and mushroom. Oh, and we are getting this done. And then on top and all of a sudden, see these first level ones are pretty easy. So, not too bad there. And bingo, bango. And finally, you, you, feather, string, and carpet. Yeah. We are making progress. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let me grab something to eat while we're waiting. <clears throat> num, 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 num. There we go. Get all that back up. And now, pink. Cool. And that should be achievement done. Right? There it is. 100 years late. We've got it. Loot chest and done. All right. And then what about this one? In the name of balance. Oh, <clears throat> so this is some more of the advanced ones. All right. Well, I think this has actually been pretty good. I've been doing some really long episodes, and I wouldn't mind actually kind of staying to a shorter one this time because I do want to start getting heading in the direction of... Um, Oh, what's it called? Uh, this stuff with the uh, thermal expansion stuff, right? And I did have myself, I left myself kind of set up for it, which is actually where we're going to go. Because there is one in Gamma that we started working on. Uh, like I said, because I saw the extra crystals, which I want to get those done right now. But then also this laser assembly. I want to make the lasers because we've already made the assembly unit, right? Or the laser, yeah, the laser assembly. And I believe I have all the materials I need for that. It was rubies I was actually waiting on. Haha, -ha, and I have enough now. I have enough. All right, cool. And they were all compacted, so. <laughs> um, so lasers, this is really simple because I already had all the material. And there's 12 of them. We have 12. Oh, no, I shift clicked. Oh, it worked. Okay. So shift clicking works sometimes and not others. I don't know. And then we're going to want to make a couple more of the uh, crystals, right? Because, well, why not? So we need to make a whole bunch of you. There we go. So you can make a ton of these. Yeah. And then you. I should have a whole bunch of eyes of ender. Uh, we can make a couple more. So let me go ahead and craft them out like this. I don't want to shift click again because I don't want that to happen. Um, but we're going to make a whole bunch of these right now. So, hey, what are you doing? Come here. You. Like that. Okay, I can only make the... Oh, blaze. There we go. Let's grab seven of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, eight will work too. So we have plenty of blaze powder in there. And Oh, there we go. The crystals are done. All right, cool. So we'll put you in there. And now we can make 64 of these. So, yep. Come on, fill up. Fill up, fill up. There we go. 64 of these. Awesome. And now we can make more crystals. Um, these are so easy to make once you get the resources. Uh, 44, that's it. Oh, that's all I made, so 
that's cool. So now we have a whole stack of these as well, right? And transfer energy. Yeah, I've already made that thing. So we're good there. Um, so let's go ahead and claim you. And let's go ahead and claim you. And let's claim you. Now, as I said, I don't want to be jumping too far ahead, but some of these I had already been working on. So it was kind of more of a why not instead of why should I? Um, let me get a chest out here. Uh, you know what? I want to make another diamond chest. Let's go ahead and make another diamond chest. What the? That was an odd way to do that. All right, cool. You. And then... What? What are you... My clicks are doing weird stuff. You. There we go. All right. Pfft, iron blocks, really? I... What is going on? Weird stuff is happening right now. Really weird stuff is happening. Okay. Iron chest. And then I need the gold chest, which I know I've got tons of gold. Come on. Come on. I know I have tons of gold. See, what is going on? Why are these not auto populating? And iron. What? There we go. Weird stuff. Weird, weird stuff. Did I have another iron chest? Oh, no, that's just a shadow. Okay. So let's put you there. And then now the diamond chest. There we go. Yeah, I haven't made one of these in a few, but it wasn't going to be that difficult. Um, diamond chest. There we go. And I should be able to do that. What am I missing now? <laughs> do I not have glass? Oh, I'm short on glass, but quite clear glass. Well, I don't know if it'll work, but if not, I can always chisel it back. So that's okay. Um, quite clear glass, just chisel back to regular glass. So, yep, that's what I got to do. All right, cool. <laughs> Where's my chisel? My inventory is getting so full. And I, I kind of feel like I'm wasting a little bit of time right now because, well... None of this is really necessary, but I just want to get stuff organized. So here we go. And back to regular glass. Cool. That chisel. I do that all the time. All right. So you, you, and where did my chest go? All right. There we go. Diamond chest. Cool. I just like that. I mean, first of all, I just like to look at the diamond chest. I never use these before. Um, before using this or playing this mod pack or whatever, but I, I thought it was about time. So, all right, so we're going to put you there. We're going to put all of our new runes in there. And then when we come back next episode, we're going to go ahead and get going on more of the, uh, what do you call it? Um, more of the Batania stuff, right? And I want to finish what I was designing over here. Hey, hey, there we go. Come on. Uh, finish more of what we were doing on Batania. Yes. But I, I kind of started a little design. These can be up to like nine blocks out. So we're going to start stacking them up. But I just think it's kind of cool. A nice little runway right to the QED. And this is just going to make them so much faster. Not that we're really doing anything intensive yet, but I know we eventually will. And so I wanted to get these leveled up. Plus I wanted the achievement. So why not just make a whole bunch while we're in the process, right? I think that's a pretty reasonable uh, idea. I don't know about you, but I think it is. So so anyways, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I hope you're enjoying what's going on. If you do have any advice for me or any like, you know, uh, cheap tricks or tips or anything like that, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments. I really, really do read my comments on a regular basis. And wow, that just looks kind of cool. It's like, just all those crystals. Yeah. And they're going to go up to probably one more limit. Yeah. So if you've got any advice for me, please let me know. I am all ears, but I, I'm very much having a blast right now. And actually I'm going to have to set up an area now for the laser, which I'll probably do over in this area. Oh, so much stuff. So much junk in my inventory. You know what? Let's finish up with loot bags or loot chests. Let's figure out what we got. Um, fancy lighting. Not all that interesting. Um, elevators. Oh, that's, that's useful. Actually, 
Um, I could have used those a long time ago when I was trying to get all the materials to make them, but, and a basic bin. Nothing too exciting, but, you know, we're, we're just getting going, right? I'm trying to get to flight already, which is kind of crazy. I know it's, it's pretty early, but, you know, it's okay. So, anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed, please don't hesitate to hit that like button. It's always appreciated. Let me know that you're actually enjoying it and I'm doing right stuff. And if you guys want to see more like this and you're brand new to the channel, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. All it's going to do is send you a notification, letting you know when I post videos, which is pretty close to daily. Sometimes there's a, a, a day in between, but, you know, for the most part, they're pretty close to daily. So, until, until next time, guys, y'all know the deal. This is Slider Havoc, and I am out of here. Peace.